Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Marty Kokish and welcome to Marty's Garage. So, uh, today I'm still working on that suspension, but uh, I did uh, get that cross member all cleaned up. And as you can see, I already put a, a coat of uh, self-etching primer on here. Um, and I'm doing the, uh, the wheel bearing hubs right now too. And I've uh, jammed a shop towel in there to kind of keep the inner workings from getting paint on them. So, um, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I just kind of painted over the bump stops. Uh, probably do the same thing with the paint because they look nasty anyways. So, whatever. But uh, one thing in particular you might want to check out is... Uh, <laughs> The, the middle of the cross member looks pretty rough and that's because uh, uh, heated it up with an oxyacetylene torch and bashed it in <laughs> about, about four inches wide and a quarter inch deep and uh, you can see right in here so all the way across and uh, that is to uh, allow for clearance because um, I'm pretty much 100% decided I'm going to do uh, the, the V6 conversion on the MGB. So, um, in order to provide clearance um, on the chrome bumper models, uh, we've got to dent that in a little bit. So, um, figured I'd do that before I paint it. So, that's done. Um, but uh, only have this this one side done. I've got to. I'm waiting for it to dry. Get a little bit more dry. It's pretty much dried off. But I need to flip it over, and then I'll prime the other side, and then we'll uh, we'll throw some silver engine enamel on everything so uh, there you go okay um, so I've got the stuff all painted up uh, use those uh, wheel bearing housings and uh, over here we've got the cross member the top still a little wet so I've got it drying over there in the corner but uh, yeah the pile is really looking silver now <laughs> um, so I still have that rear axle left to do Got to clean that up a little bit. Um, but uh, as far as the front sus suspension goes, um, now it's time to move on to the rack and pinion. So I've, because uh, uh, I always said I had to really bang on these with a sledgehammer to get them out. As a result, these, these tie rod ends are kind of bent and are going to need to be replaced. So um, as well as these boots being kind of ripped. I think there's actually supposed to be a boot that goes around here that's missing. So um, right now I'm just going to uh, take this guy apart. And you can see this one's uh, dented up as well. I don't know if we get a good angle on it, but yeah, it's a little off. So right now I'm just going to, I'm going to tear it all apart and clean it up. Okay, so I'm taking apart the tie rod stuff and uh, steering rack and uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video of it just to show you how to take it apart. Um, I actually learned how to do it from watching John Twist's video over at uh, the University Motors channel on YouTube so um, if you want a good demonstration go there. <laughs> so, uh, for starters my the, the boots on both sides um, you can see they were tore off like there's a little uh, little nipple thing that goes on here and there's another clasp that goes around it. So mine was just kind of hanging out here in limbo. Um, so, and the screws kind of all stripped out and rusty so I just cut it off with the angle grinder. So, um, I've kind of already had this apart so you don't have to watch me stumble through this, but uh, uh, you loosen up the, the boot that goes towards the inside and then uh, you can get to taking this apart. You can see there's a rubber boot on here that's missing as well. So I'm going to have to uh, uh, replace this whole thing because I guess this is pretty much trashed once that boot comes out. So this just unscrews. And then there's a little, uh, little nut on here uh, that, that keeps that in place. So take this off do, 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 do. <laughs> and it's off and then this boot will just uh, pull off there we go we see our ball joint and our tie rod 
and this is kind of cool, you know, uh, you hear the phrase rack and pinion all the time. Well, this is the rack. You can see it's a, it's a, it's a length, or, I don't know, a horizontal axis gear, I guess. And then uh, uh, here is the steering column. And uh, at the end of here, there's just a, a normal pinion gear. So, and as we turn it, you can see it moves this guy back and forth. So, and that's what moves your wheels from side to side. So, pretty cool stuff. But uh, I am going to put this in a vise now. I have a cloth in here just to keep it from uh, scratching things up too much. And uh, let me just resituate that. And uh, I'm going to stick this in here. Careful not to screw up any of the gears. So that's nice and tight. And uh, uh, what, what we want to do is we want to pull this guy off so uh, I can take out this uh, tie rod assembly. I don't know. This one's not quite as bad, but you can see it's a little bent. Here is the other one I took off. This is a lot more pronounced. Sledgehammer will do that to things. Um, so uh, I just took a little screwdriver and there's a little dimple on this nut back there and stuck the flat edge screwdriver in there and bent it out. So this piece will spin freely. Uh, and then I'll just take the channel lock and got it loose and I'll start taking it out. So there's some stuff in there, so I want to be careful. So this comes out. We've got our little ball and stuff there. Uh, and then in here, we've got a little platter that the ball sits in. Got that guy right there. And then uh, there's my, my handy dandy magnet here. There's a spring in there. So these are good. Just hang on to those, and so now I'm gonna need to order uh, new tie rod deals, new ends, and, uh, and that kind of wraps it up for today. But uh, yeah, I'm at the really not fun part um, where I actually have to purchase things <laughs> to uh, continue with the project. Uh, you know, is is uh, troublesome as tearing it down can be. Um, that part was free, <laughs> so. But, uh, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so I gotta save up some. Yeah, any feedback or anything like that, uh, just send it to Marty's Garage at gmail.com. And, um, let's see, the show is available on iTunes and the Zoom Marketplace, and you can watch it at streaming online at www.martune.net. So, thanks for watching.